What's going on tubers? This is another tutorial for you. It's how to get a PlayStation emulator. No, wait, it's about how to get the best PlayStation emulator. EPSXE. Now, all the other tutorials I've ever seen on this were either um, not done with the person talking about it, like walking you through step by step. Instead, they do text. Or it either doesn't work or you can't understand what the crap they're saying. <clears throat> so, I'm going to show you how to do this, and it's probably one of the most simple things you could possibly do uh, once you know how. So here I am, the emulator zone. The top place to get your emulators. This is where I get all my emulators. This is where I got EPSXE. Now, put a link in the description. What you need to do is you need to download EPSXE. Just download it to your desktop. I already did that, as you can see right here. Um, <clears throat> go ahead and extract it. You will need either 7-zip or WinRAR. Um, so extract the files, right? And a folder shows up. Now, you are going to be using this folder for the remainder of this tutorial, so keep it open just like this, okay? Now, probably most of you know that EPSXE does not have everything it needs to run properly which is kind of annoying but I know how to get all the stuff it needs meaning plugins so all you have to do over in this little bar here where it says PlayStation you click plugins and utilities I mean in all the other videos they tell you to go somewhere else you don't need to go anywhere else they have everything you need right here it's convenient now the only one you're really going to need is the video to uh, the video plugin because it has the sound plugin and the graphics plugin already for you. So or you could also download a controller plugin which I use I use Sega's Joy plugin. So I'll show you how to install that and everything. But first what you're going to want is a graphics plugin. Now, I usually use Pete's GPU plugins or Pete's OpenGL2. You're going to want to use Pete's GPU plugin. So go ahead and download that to your desktop, right? Um, and then after you do that, if you're going to be using a you know, gamepad, I recommend you download a controller plugin because the one they have is crap to me personally. So I, I usually use Segu Joy plugin. Uh, I just found it to be the best so far. Go ahead and download that to your desktop. Um, so now after you do this, after you download this to your desktop, see how your EPSXE folder is right here. Go ahead and drag the RAR files for the GPU Pete graphic plugin and the Segu Joy plugin into that folder. Okay. Um, then you're going to need WinRAR and 7-Zip for this again. Go ahead and extract the files. Do not extract here, just extract the files, right? Right, okay. So go ahead and extract Segu Joy plugin. Extract the files, right? Okay, cool. Um, now after you do this, you see how it's here. Well, we're not quite done yet. You still have to add it to the plugins folder. Now, you see how it has three of these. Um, honestly, I just usually put them all in. Uh, go ahead and move that down. Uh, I just select all three of them. Copy, right? Okay, go back to where plugins are. Go ahead and paste those in there. Right? It's pretty easy. Uh, go to if you want the joystick plug-in, go to Segu, uh, copy again, you know, and go ahead and go to plugins and paste. It's really that simple. Now, after you do all of this, you know, you still can't run it. You need what's called as a BIOS file. Now every person who has done a tutorial on this gets their BIOS file from either MediaShare or 
rapid sh or no media fire fire or mega upload or rapid fire. Don't do that. It could end up with viruses. And I've I go to this website called Dragon Ball Arena, and this is really really weird that they have it on here. Um, but they have the BIOS files here now. It, uh, the PS1 emulator can either run uh, SCPH 1000 or SCPH 1001. For me personally, because my graphics card is crap, I run the 1000. So you probably want to do the same. Click download and download it to your desktop. Right, real simple. Um, again, drag this into your ESP EPX. S uh, sorry about that. EPSX folder. Go ahead and extract the files again. Um, go ahead and click OK. Go in here. Uh, here's the bin file. Now just copy that again. It's real simple. Go into BIOS and click uh, paste. Now what I didn't mention was that you're gonna want a memory card manager and you can get the memory card manager um, same place uh, let's see here we go Aldos memory card manager it's the same as the other ones you just click it and download it right download it to your desktop drag it in here Go ahead and extract files. You do need, well, if you want to save your game, you're going to want a memory card manager. Click OK. There we have it right there. Go ahead and copy, right? And go to mem cards. Paste it in there. And now you would think you're done, right? Not exactly. So, here, I'll exit out of this. So, go ahead and click EPSXE right here. This is where you load up all your games and everything. Go into config, go into video, um, you know, select whatever driver that you want. Um, remember, all do not move any of these folders because it'll screw everything up. Make sure they're all in the same location. Um, what I usually use is either the DX6 or the D3D. Um, it get, it kind of varies with each game that you you know play. I mainly use D3D though. Uh, sometimes the other one. Now go into config and go into sound. It already have its. It, it, sometimes it doesn't. Like the previous versions didn't already have their own sound core. So you know just check everything that everything's okay. Um, it already has its CD-ROM reading thing. Yes, you can read PlayStation games on your computer and play them that way. Uh, you need to make sure that you click Select for the BIOS file, and you know find the BIOS file that you have, and select the bin and click OK. Right? Incredibly simple. Now I'll run through a few. You know little things that you're going to want to know if you're new to this program. If you want a controller, you go to pad 1 and see you can set up all the controllers. You see I have a Logitech dual action um, controller which looks just like this. So you're going to want to make sure you have all these buttons and you know having a rumble feature doesn't hurt uh, adds to the effect. Okay. Um, to run uh, ROMs, they're called ISOs in here because they're image files. You click Run ISO, and you basically just have to find the ROM or ISO that you want. Um, if you want to run a CD, you just put it in there, and it'll run right up. It'll run right through the computer, which is pretty cool. So, uh, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, go ahead and ask me. Um, I have a lot of t free time on my hands. Um, so yeah, it's really simple. Don't look at any of the other tutorials because they're just going to be complicated. I get all this stuff pretty much in the same place. Um, uh, few last tips for you. 
Like I said before, do not move any of the folders. You're going to screw up the configuration if you do. Another good thing to have is to make sure that all your ROM files are in there, or the ISO files are in the same folders. Um, and that's pretty much it. Guys, if you have any questions, like I said before, feel free to ask, and I'll check you guys later.